Welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. I am Papa Pepper, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a free source project. Yes, we like free source projects. That one there, Smokehouse, that cost me about 300 and some bucks because of all the free sources I was able to use with it. But in this one, old fence pickets. Sometimes I get paid to take down old fences and put up new ones. These materials have to be removed and taken off site, but I don't throw them away because they're a resource. And I like taking something like this and turn them into some amazing rustic walls for my home. And uh, it all started as just an idea a couple years ago. I'll back up to that and then bring you through the process. Welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. I'm Papa Pepper, and in a world where if you buy everything you ever think of, you're definitely gonna be broke. Um, I'd really like to take advantage of free sources. The cool thing is with some of the repairs I get to do in my line of work, um, you take the old material, and you clean it up, and you gotta get rid of it, and then you replace it with some new stuff. So pretty much all of the roofing tin, all of the, uh, what is it, like R panel, that I've got on my animal buildings was free. Right now, I've got a whole pile back in there. Oh, as you can see it. There they are. Those are all eight foot fence pickets. And I'm actually contemplating using them inside the house. So I'm gonna get them unloaded. I've got an unfortunate pile of free sources here. Okay, it does look like trash. The goal is to eventually build a lean-to off the side of here that probably comes out 16 feet, make a, a number of shelving units. That one's gotta come down. It's not where it needs to be um, as far as structurally sound, but this is all stuff that I can't make on my own, so I at least obtained it when I was able to get my hands on it for free, and the goal being that I've got a lot of cool projects I can do with in the future. This one is going to be kind of more of a cosmetic thing, but it also does serve some purposes. Um, just try to make our inside of our house, it'll be more rustic looking and kind of more in line with the way we'd like things to be as opposed to like, you know, just sheetrock and paint and stuff like that. But uh, there's a number of damage holes in the building and a couple of those we inherited it with. So when we bought it, they already had some holes in the walls and stuff and I just haven't fixed them. But if we run this over the top of them, right there, we won't need to. So unloading today, and then we'll go uh, from there and see how long it takes me to have this one move up on the priority list. something with and I do have some other ones uh, available to me and actually another pile on my land in a different spot. I just thought this was the easiest spot to uh, unload it because I had to come down here with the work trailer and a dually. So we'll see. I might to do this but I got a couple other things first. Root cellar and the um, wood stove are much higher priority than just some little cosmetic stuff. But once I do the root cellar, sorry, the uh, wood stove, then I can tie this into that and move on from there. How was the work, son? Good. Good, you sweaty? Yeah, I saw you carrying a bunch at once. That gets it done quicker, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, it does.
Um, getting a lot of these boards, see them all, see all the gray ones, more up there, getting a lot of these boards ready, but want to <clears throat> knock this one out of the way and finish it. But the goal for today is can I get all of these done?
so what do you think, man? Um, it looks cool. Feels better. Um. Does it feel nicer being in here now? Yes, sir. Oh. Uh, now, what do you think of all your hard work to do it? I think it was worth it. Nice. And you see I started getting some of the trim ready. That's just a cedar there. What do you think, Pinky? I really like it. It looks really nice and it feels better. Yeah. I know when we just had the wood stove with that rock, it changed the whole feel of this place. Just coming out of my bedroom in the morning, looking across the living room, seeing that. But now this just uh, takes it up another level, doesn't it? Yeah. What about you, child? I think it makes the room a whole lot, a whole lot bigger. Yeah, it looks a whole lot bigger. Do you feel like you just live in an old barn now? No. No? And what do you think, darling? I think it looks a lot nicer. Yeah, do you think it's going to look even better when I finish it and put the trim on and stuff? Yeah. I got some plans for that. Uh, we're going to have some rustic looking stuff around here. I don't know if you guys ever stopped in like a Bass Pro Shop or something like that, but the way Johnny Morris does a lot of his projects just looks amazing and rustic and uh, I think we're going to be able to do some of that around here. If you want, those are just some bookshelves. I think out of six pickets or seven pickets you can make three bookshelves like that. Uh, I'll link a video. But that was the project. Um, got some more to go just because there's a little bit I still had to finish if you guys caught the last video. Uh, but yeah. A success overall and definitely definitely like it so we'll see you next time pop out mm -hmm.